Hey guys, it's Ben here from Dreambox. Today I want to go through the basics of parametric modeling. Now no doubt some of you have heard the term before, but don't actually know what the actual advantages are of using parametric modeling. One of these parametric programs is called Grasshopper, and Grasshopper is a plugin for Rhino 3D. At a basic level, parametric modeling can be seen as making shortcuts. Instead of manually going through and creating all your geometry, by uh, laying down curves, extruding them, and running them through all the toolkits in your CAD software. Parametric modeling lays out a series of rules which you can use to generate that same result. Here is a quick example to explain a little bit of what I'm talking about. So I've made an algorithm here on the right that allows me to test if a curve is closed or not, and if it is, it'll make it into a 3D object. So as you can see, I've got two closed objects and two open ones. And when I preview the 3D one, you can see that this algorithm has made those two curves 3D objects. This might not seem useful now, but imagine if you had 5,000 of these curves and you didn't know which ones were open and which ones were closed. This means using this algorithm, you could pick any of these out without having to go through it manually and seeing which were which. Now this is where the parametric bit comes in. Now that we have all our extruded shapes, we can actually go into these rules and change the values. For example, now everything is sitting at 2000 millimeters. What if we change that to 3500? It has now just increased the height of all of those shapes in one simple change. Using those same tools and principles, we're able to create algorithms that are far more complicated and can achieve far more difficult tasks. This one, for example, creates 3D floor plans from 2D plans, as if we found that was something we were doing quite a lot. So we used um, Grasshopper to basically make a tool that is similar to the one in Revit that can create walls from simple curves. As you can see, this greatly speeds up the process and is an awesome shortcut for us when we're trying to turn anything from 2D into 3D. If you'd like to know more or are curious how Grasshopper and parametric modeling might be able to help you, feel free to get in touch and I'm more than happy to have a chat.